U.S. stocks rallied on Wednesday, powered by a recovery in growth stocks, as investors digested a mixed bag of quarterly results and hot inflation data. The Dow rose by a percent, the S&P 500 finished up more than a percent, while the Nasdaq ended 2 percent higher. Payne Capital Management's president, Ryan Payne, said the market may have concluded that the inflation wave has crested. I definitely think inflation peaked in March, uh, and now you're going to see for the rest of the year as inflation start coming down, contrary to popular belief, because oil prices are already down. You're already looking at the used car market. It's already coming down in price. And you look at the fact that we're going to start moving our spending from goods to services, so supply chains are going to start getting fixed. So that all bodes well for lower inflation as we move into the latter part of the year. Mega caps Apple and Microsoft both finished more than a percent and a half higher, while Amazon and Tesla each rose more than 3 percent, and shares of chipmakers NVIDIA and AMD also gained after getting battered earlier this week. Delta Airlines jumped more than 6 percent after forecasting a return to profit in the current quarter due to booming travel demand. Other airline stocks followed suit, including United, Southwest and American Airlines, which soared more than 10 percent higher. But capping market gains were shares of J.P. Morgan, which fell more than 3 percent after the largest U.S. bank posted a 42 percent drop in first quarter profit. More big banks are set to report earnings on Thursday, including Morgan Stanley, Goldman Sachs, Citigroup and Wells Fargo.